Hey, this is Kathleen Gage, the Street Smarts Marketer, and welcome to today's book marketing tip. Street Smarts Marketing is where we work with speakers and authors and entrepreneurs who want to take their information to market in a way that they can build a multiple six-figure-a-year lifestyle business. Now, I'm going to talk to you today about YouTube. We have the traditional type of YouTube video, which would be a book trailer. That's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm going to share with you three things that you need to do with YouTube to get the most value out of what you're doing and create value for your market. The thing to always keep in mind is you've got to create value for your market. It's not about you. It's about what they're getting from you and from the information that you provide. You always want to strive to go above and beyond. You always want to strive to give more than they expect without giving the farm away, of course, because there are those people that expect for $10 they should get everything from you, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. That is not living in the real world. We want to deal with people who are living in the real world. So let's talk about how to get the most out of YouTube. Now, what you can do with YouTube is you can create how-to videos. Let's say that your book is a how-to book on how to grow a vegetable garden, how to grow an organic vegetable garden. What you can do is you can do short takeouts of your book on different aspects of creating an organic vegetable garden. The fertilizer you use, how to prepare the ground, what kind of seeds to use, uh, what kind of uh, tools to use, things of that nature, when to cultivate, when to um, uh, pick the vegetables. And as you can see, I don't have a vegetable garden, but if I was advising somebody, those would be the things that I would encourage them to put short videos together in order to drive traffic. Now, here's what you do. You take your headline. You have a few different aspects. You've got your headline. You've got the body and you've got your description. Okay, now, everything that you do on YouTube needs to be driving people to a certain location, if you will, and you must use keywords. For example, the keywords on organic gardening would obviously be organic gardening, healthy eating, uh, fresh vegetables, things of that nature. In your headline, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your keywords. So start your headline with organic gardens, how to cultivate the ground. Organic gardens, how to choose the right tools. Organic gardens, how to select the right fertilizer. So you want to have your keywords at the beginning of your headline. Very, very important. Next in the body, the body is what you're talking about. Like what I'm talking about right now, this is a YouTube video that is also being used to promote a free webinar. In the body, I've used several times keywords of information products, book marketing, things of that nature that ties in with the headline that you will see on this video. Next, your description. That's what goes below the video. In your description, put an active URL And what that means is you put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the URL, www, whatever it is. But make sure that you put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in the description at the beginning of the description. That way you can direct people, like I will right now, say, now when you're done, what I want you to do is I want you to click the link below and actually point. Say, I want you to click the link below and that'll take you to a page where you can actually opt in for the 10 top tips on organic gardening. The 10 top ways to get the best organic garden. So you have an active link, you are instructing people, I want you to click the link below and you're, you're looking and you're pointing. Then in your description as you're writing about what's in the video, use your keywords and have a robust description because Google picks all that up. It's all about search engine optimization. So how does this relate to you promoting your book? It's all about promoting your book because ultimately you, in your headline you've got your keywords, in the body as you're talking you have your keywords, and in the description you have your keywords and you're driving people to a location where they can opt in for something so you can put them on your opt-in subscriber list. Your goal each and every day should be to do something to get people onto your opt-in subscriber list. Now the key is 
creating massive value. It's not just about giving information away. Your free information should always be great information. Some people say, well, it's free, so I shouldn't have to give that much away. You've got to sparkle and shine from the very beginning. You have to feel so confident about your information that when people sign up, they say, wow, if I get this for free, imagine what I would get in the book or imagine what I would get in the information product, or imagine what I would get in the teleseminar or the webinar, or whatever it is that ultimately you will use your book to promote. Because a book is not an end-all be-all. The mistake that many authors make is they think their book is an end-all be-all, and it's not. It actually is a piece to the puzzle. It is actually a part of your overall business model. This is Kathleen Gage, the Street Smarts Marketer, and what I want you to do is I want you to click the link below and I want you to join us on February 16th, myself and my colleague Lynn Klipple, as Lynn shares with you how to get that first book to market. Have a great day.